It's all good with Iceberg Slim. Welcome to another edition of It's All Good with Iceberg Slim. We call this the best of It's All Good 2. And what we've done is just go back through our tapes, through our former shows, and pull up some people who did great jobs. We like to highlight our people. We're proud of our guests. We're proud of their participation in this show. Let us now just go back through some great performances from some of our former guests. My first guest, Mr. Michael DeRamus, better doing? known as Duck. All right. Glad to have you here, man. Glad to be here. You know, we met in the lobby of the rodeo club. I remember. And your personality just drew me to you because you, you don't meet no strangers. Right. Right. <laughs> kind of hard to run across one. Yeah. <laughs> and really, you impressed me. You sang a song after the competition, just having fun up front. I'm like, this guy has got it. You know, <laughs> it is hard to, you know, come about. What uh, prompted you to get into Idol? Well, I started off, um, I'm from Tallahassee, and I started mm. off at this little small restaurant, Acapulco Grill, big shots out of Acapulco Grill. Mm. All right, and they just had a little karaoke system going up. My right. first time ever wanting to try this, you know. Mm. I was only going in to get me a burrito and a flounder, and I was going to go on by my business, you know. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, you can sing on that microphone? They're like, yeah. I'm like, okay, let me try a song. So the first song that I ever actually tried off of karaoke was Three Doors Down. Um, okay. Here without you, and I done very well on that. And from that point, they asked me to come back, and so I kind of like made it a routine. Every Thursday, I would be there relentlessly, you know, mm -hmm. religiously. It was something that was be be becoming more of me, you know. Not right. that I was a performer or entertainer, but it was uh, a leisure time for myself, you right. know, give me an opportunity to have some sort of outlet after a busy day of, of work, you know. Right. So getting into Kalaja Idol was. Pretty much me and my wife, um, we would actually go to different um, local bars, uh, you know, in Montgomery and stuff of that nature, which I just try to find karaoke because that's, right. what, I, that's what I like to do is relate nothing else. I could dance a little bit, but, you know, that's here or there. Yeah. So we go to different bars and we just try to find a decent atmosphere to get, you know, myself uh, acquainted with different people. Now, we have ran across some... Um, strong blocks, and we have ran across <laughs> some doors that obviously looks at, looked at it as if they was gonna shut on us, you know. Right. But as soon as I opened up my mouth and I started singing, you know, <laughs> gotta give you what you want, you know, yeah, what yeah, you appreciate. Yeah. So joining Kalaja Idol was really just a walk up on, you okay. know. I uh, walked up on it, and someone said, Hey, look, why don't you sign up? You know, I'm like, I'm no good. Y'all have talent that come here every single day, but I have been doing this for so long, and they just regular karaoke. Right, so, right. To make it to this point, to having a little bit of celebrity status. <laughs> and, oh. and really, I, I left that part out, because you're going to the third round this week, uh -huh. and uh, we have a performance. We're going get, to get that on a little bit later. You've uh, performed twice. You've advanced both times, and for a person just uh, looking for a burrito, that ain't bad. <laughs> <laughs> A burrito and what now? A, a, a flounder. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So that's a smooth payoff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, just to walk up, you know, and just say, I think I'll try that. Because, you know, if you don't ever make a step to do something, very little gets done. You got to make the move. Would you be upset if I showed the audience your first performance? No, actually, you know, right now I'm actually excited that you're showing. Okay. <laughs> if you will, let's go to that first performance in the first round of Kalaja Idol.
<laughs> All right. Now, that's a pretty good first performance. Now, that, that, that's at least, well, I won't say a tequila because we may not be that kind of show, but an uh, extra burrito. How about yes, that? Yes, 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 <laughs> at least. <laughs> it was so, a cheese dip. <laughs> <laughs> now, as you said, you're from Tallahassee? Yes. Okay. Uh, now, we may not be on in Tallahassee, but we're there on YouTube. So okay. hopefully, you know, you'll go out there and spread the word uh, about, you know, the, uh, the show. Uh, now, when I spoke to you about it, I got to put you on the spot. <laughs> I said, man, I love your personality. You, you sang a song in, in the uh, Pony Bar, and I think it was Tennessee Whiskey. And I said, man, you got to be on the show. And you said, okay. And I said, look, I want you to go to the Facebook page. I want you to go to YouTube. And what did you do? Uh, I went home and went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> but trust me, I've said a lot of stuff. And not so much a pony bar, but I've been in a bar, too, where I kind of forgot what I uh, said in the beginning. You want to shout out some people, I know. Yeah, I do. Um, once again, I want to shout out to Acapulco, Dean and Kat, for setting this all up, giving me an opportunity to, I guess, Become the entertainer that I think that I am. Right? <laughs> <laughs> a big shout out to my wife for uh, encouraging me to actually be on here tonight. And mm -hmm. big shout out to you, Iceberg, just for giving me that opportunity, you know, huh. because most people, they will tell you one thing, you know, but to prove it was something totally different. I went home and I slept on it. Yeah. But you was up all night with a flashlight looking for me. Oh, yeah. That's who you oh, got. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's like this, you know, like this show is based on people who do positive things. Mm -hmm. And it could be the judge of the 50th Judicial Circuit he's been on, could be the mayor of the city he's been on, could be our council people. We've had the opportunity to have some of those on. We've had entertainers. We've had uh, Toya Jones, a former participant on The Voice. She's been on twice. Uh, we've had comedians. Mm -hmm. uh, Kenny Hart, son of Dolomite, he's been on. We've had gospel singers, the Alabama Spiritus, who's going to be uh, for, featured in the show a little later on. We've had the joyful sounds of Selma, um, Sean Jones, Pastor Sean Jones of Sean Jones and the Believers. We've had people from all walks of life, Columbus Toy, uh, Miss Lady Blues. So what we try to do is uh, highlight people who do positive things because we ain't got to highlight the negative. You can turn on any channel at, cha at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and you hear everybody that's done something negative. Right. I mean, you'll get the notoriety. We want to highlight people who do positive things. And, you know, being a shy guy like you, so quiet and so reserved. <laughs> 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 I'm blushing right now. You just can't, it. Tell it. You know, can't tell it. <laughs> so what, what, what you see going forward in the competition, that's a lot of, a uh, lot of strong competition yes, out there. Yes, I think it is some great competition. I mean, really overwhelming. Once again, mm -hmm. to be in the presence of those, that kind of talent, you know, those mm -hmm. people who can really further themselves and go further than just the, those stage yeah. lights, you know. But to see myself in that competition that can line up number fifth and, and still stand tall and to believe that I cannot win it, but to know that I can hang out with those good performers. Well, nah, nah. <laughs> I, you know, being, being uh, <laughs> you know, uh, kind of holding back, laying on the mustard. You ain't no bad performer now. Uh-huh. But there, there are a lot of good performances left in this competition. I suggest some people get out there and see y'all because it, it's going to be super exciting going down the road because some people who have been eliminated because of the multitude of talent, everybody was talented, but the talent level is coming up. Um, so I see a lot of competition. I Elite Fitness has new owners, and they're offering lots of good reasons to join. For a limited time, get a special deal for new members, women, and seniors. Pay up front, and it's only $200 for a year. Plus, you can add two family members for only $10 each, and a third family member for $5. At Elite Fitness, you don't have to sign an annual contract, but if you do, it's only $20 a month with Auto Bank Draft. Elite Fitness is a large state-of-the-art facility and a great place to work out. And tanning is available at a great rate, too. Come by today on the CAC Campus. M.D. Ross Construction, 115 North Tallahassee Street, Daville. Experience you can trust for all your home improvement needs, from ground-up construction to roofing. Look no further. No job too big, no job too small. Bathroom renovations, kitchen renovations, basement renovations. M.D. Ross Construction can do it and do it well. Call us for your next renovation project. M.D. Ross Construction. Call the office number listed or call our cell. 
Contact Scott with Renaissance Mortgage Lending to help make that house your home. Renaissance Mortgage Lending. Understanding you. Equal housing lender. We are a debt relief agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the bankruptcy code. Marsha Mason is pleased to announce the new location of Mason Law Firm at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Marsha Mason is your local attorney for bankruptcy and social security disability. Call your hometown attorney, Marsha Mason, at 256-329-1313. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. I'm attorney Dane Sharp. If you've been injured in an auto accident, don't choose an attorney simply because they have flashy television commercials and tons of billboards. Call a local attorney who can give your case the personal attention it needs and deserves. For over 20 years, I've handled hundreds of auto accidents, and I take pride in the personal service we provide and the results we obtain for our clients. So if you've been injured, give me a call today and put our team to work for you. Lake Mud Truck and Auto, 2888 David Road, Alexander City, is the place to be if you're ready to ride. 256-212-1300. They're the walking man's friend. Buy here, pay here, no credit checks. If you want to ride, call Lori at Lake Mud Truck and Auto for great pricing for all vehicles on the lot. Like this 1997 Crown Vic. That's right, the Ford Crown Vic has Kenwood stereo, cold AC, it's clean, inside and out. If you're ready to ride with a walking man's friend, Lake Martin Truck and Auto, Alexander City, 2888 Dave Road. The number is 256-212-1300. If you're ready to ride, come and see us. Sending my love to you with this love song. I'm just trying to let you know. Oh, 
went for losing. I, oh, you see, one minute I want you here, the next minute I want you to leave. I know it is difficult for you to put up with me, but baby, I'm willing. You gotta break my heart I've noticed For the past few days You changed Now could it be You've grown tired of me Cause baby You're not the same the I read your text message yesterday You said you wanna throw us all away You said you don't wanna get married no more What you mean you have no love for me no more now let's not start a big fight of us I just want to talk about us What happened to keeping your promise You said you'd never leave forever was us You see I love you, I really love you And you're the only one for me Oh I love you, I really love you I want you to stay Baby, oh boy, I love yes. you. Can you confess up? Have you messed up? Have you broken our trust? All of a sudden, you wanna give up? Now, has someone come between us? Now, could it be you're not satisfied? Or you just no longer wanna try? I don't deserve what you're doing to me. Got me hurting on the inside. By the way. I overheard you say the other day You said that you need a little space You said that you may be going through a phase And at the moment you want to go your own way You told me you would never ever hurt me You said that we never separate What happened to keeping your promise? You said you never leave forever was us I love you baby I know I love you, baby, and I, I want you to stay. You got me crying. Please don't say goodbye I know we can make it right Let's give it one more try I want you in my life 
It's Ram Truck Month at Vice Motors in Alex City. Save over $10,000 on a new 2016 Ram 1500 Bighorn Diesel 4x4 Crew Cab. It's Truck Month. Save over $8,500 on a new 2016 Ram 2500 4x4 Crew Cab. That's what I call wheel. Guaranteed lowest price, or we'll pay you the difference in price twice. I've been trying to tell you. ViceChryslerDodge.com. City Pond, 148 Calhoun Street, downtown Alexander City. New owner, Andy Tucker, says, come on in. We buy gold and silver. We are coin dealers. See us for title loans and title pawns and guns and ammo. That's City Pond, across from Piggly Wiggly, downtown Alexander City. Give us a call at 256-329-8780 or just come on in to City Pond. Car Stereo Shop in Auburn is more than your car audio and video headquarters. Everything you ever wanted for your boat, including speakers, amps, and subs, from brands like Sony, Kenwood, Memphis, Kicker, Coke Audio, power speakers from Kicker, Skyline, and Wet Sound, underwater lighting from Ocean LEDs and Shadow Caster, and for your ATVs, side by sides and motorcycles, the best in power sports products and lighting. How about a custom tailgating package or a custom built mobile office? Where your imagination becomes reality, the Car Stereo Shop in Auburn. Professionalism, reliability, experience. At T-Rapid Return Taxes, these are not just words. They are guidelines. IRS Registered Tax Return Preparer Freddie Trailer is a lifelong resident of the area. He is not here today and gone tomorrow. For tax prep, e-file, or customer advance loans, see the professionals at 214 Calhoun Street, downtown Ellic City. T-Rapid Return Taxes. JD's Tire and Lube. If you need diesel, if you need non-ethanol gas, if you love service, need new tires, don't waste your time shopping around. Go to JD's Tire and Lube. They can get you any tire, anytime at the best prices around, and you get free rotation and balance for life of the tire. JD offers full service for whatever your needs are. Oil change, brake repair, radiator work, batteries. You can even get your car washed. The customer service is unbeatable at JD's Tire and Lube, 316 Tallapoosa Street, Alexander City. In the old Foshi service station building. Zion Memorial Funeral Home, located on 1881 Goodwater Highway in Sylacauga, Alabama, is one of the fastest growing funeral homes in the area. We offer a caring, complete, and dignified service. We offer our family as your family in your time of need. Allow our caring staff to join you in celebrating the life of your loved one. That's Zion Memorial Funeral Home, Brian Sims, owner and licensed mortician. I've been talking to a young man, a uh, very young man, for several, several months about coming on the show. Uh, first time we met, we were at church, and he gave me, gave me his book, a uh, book called The Covenant. We're going to talk a little bit more about The Covenant lately, later, but I'm going to introduce my guest right now, Mr. Jerry Abbott. How you doing, sir? Yeah, bud. All right. <laughs> and how are you? I'm great. I mean, uh, it's good to finally have you on the show. Well, now, it's good to finally be on Iceberg. All right. Now, if you will, tell the audience a little bit about yourself now. Well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm old. <laughs> I'm crippled. I'm senile. <laughs> but I'm happy. And you're here. And I'm here. All <laughs> here. Every bit of me. <laughs> all right. Now, just for a little background now, your background is ministry. Yeah. Yeah. I was a Methodist minister for 40 years. And then they kicked me out. <laughs> and and uh, after 40 years of wandering through the wilderness, I came back to the promised land here in Ellick City. That's right. Now, we met at 
Flint Hill United Methodist Church. We did, yeah. And you were one of the first people to welcome me to the, you know, to the, to the facility. I mean, genuine person. My baby calls you Gramps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to welcome you because you sorry old thing. You're my yeah. son-in-law <laughs> because your wife's my daughter and your daughter's my granddaughter. <laughs> what do you think about that, folks? <laughs> now, <laughs> you sent me, gave me an autographed copy of your book, The Covenant, and I read it. And yeah. then now I'm rereading it because it's so close to what's going on right now that is eye-opening and kind of scary. <laughs> when I wrote that book, I had in there that the leader of the, one of the political groups among the Kurds ended up being the first president. That hadn't happened yet. Right. And, and that scared the bejeebies out of me. <laughs> When, when I'd written about it, and, and then it happened. Mm -hmm. And it's not because I'm that wise a, politi a, a political prophet. I think there was something else involved in my writing that book. May I read something from the yes, day of first? Please. I believe this with all my heart. And I think there are more good church people than one would think who also think the same way, but they're not going to say it in their churches. And I'll talk a little about why I believe this too. The prologue. I don't know if you recall that I have traveled to distant places and met people of varying religious and political persuasions. A Jew in Alabama, a Baptist in Alaska, a youth in Sweden, a Muslim in Turkey, they express the same concern. How can a God who is truly loved turn away from any who earnestly cry out for the deity's embrace and direction regardless of tongue or creed? Too often religion and politics are perverted by arrogance and prejudice to disparage, divide, and harm. When this happens, there must be a response. That is why I offer the following read. Well, if I can recommend it, I would tell anybody to read that book because yeah. the, <laughs> the perspective is, is, is so strange. It starts out, it's closely linked to the history of this area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can count back, I can count back events that parallel yeah. of what's written in the book. And then it goes on to the, 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 the uh, what you put forth as far as God and love and people. Uh, I can't see God checking to see if you're a Democrat or a Republican and all this good stuff, you know. And or I know Baptist, or Baptist, Baptist whatever. Or a Jew G or right, a Muslim. Right. And to start with that prep, with that pre uh, premise yeah. and to go from there and then to tie it into historical events. I, I, I took my son is a Baptist minister, yeah. uh, Pastor Jamal Oliver. Well, he probably wouldn't agree with what I just said. But if, if you are forward, that's all right. <laughs> if you're forward thinking, yeah. you're always open to knowledge. Yeah. Life, is, you know, life doesn't have to be agreed. If you I put it like this, if you write it on my shirt mm -hmm. and I look in the mirror, I may not agree, but I can't argue with what's there because you can see it. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. the thing about it is we dismiss a lot of stuff because of lack of knowledge. Yeah. And I think there's a uh, scripture that goes with that. I'm going to leave that alone, but for our people perish for lack of knowledge. Anyway, yeah. but uh, yeah. if the information is there and the knowledge is there, you can derive your conclusion from that knowledge. You know, I think a lot of our problems today is that we don't want knowledge because it may change our mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's easy. Uh, ignorance is a lack of knowledge. Yeah. So you can remain ignorant if you don't want any knowledge. Right. Know? But what, what inspired you to write the book? I started out 
actually writing about that airplane crash that crashed on our property, that right. jet airplane. And then next thing I knew, I was going along with that, but in an entirely different direction than I'd ever thought of. I believe, and maybe I'm, I'm wrong, but it's my belief that something else was involved in my writing that book. Uh, because there were some thoughts that came out of it that I really can't claim credit for. For example, as, as I said, uh, saying that this Kurdish leader was going to be the first president of the new Iraq. Yeah. Uh, shoot, I... Well, well, pretty much all that I pulled up was from the Internet. So I've, I've never been to Iraq. I've, I've never met that Kurdish leader. Mm -hmm. I've been privileged to do a lot of traveling, but that's one place I haven't been. But I know when we were in Turkey, there was this Muslim lady. She was a guide, our, our guide, and we ended up walking around with our arms around each other's shoulders, calling one another brother and sister. And... and uh, something that I, I think came out more than once in, in the book is that uh, if we can claim the same God as our Father, that must mean we're brothers and sisters. Even that thing sitting right over there must be my sister. <laughs> you know? And, and uh, so why, why sure, uh, my granddaughter is my granddaughter. Who is your daughter? Yes. Because we're all family. Right. And, you know, a lot of the, I've, I've been, I follow, I'm always on Facebook. I read. Yeah. I'm, I'm struggling with life itself, trying to figure it out. And yeah. I'm not the only person who hasn't figured it out. But <laughs> <laughs> most of our problems are kind of manufactured. Yeah. Because if you put a group of kids together, four or five-year-olds, until we teach them who they're supposed to hate, they don't know anything about that stuff. No. They no, just uh -huh. out there having fun. Exactly. We exactly. get political groups who say, okay, to be in our group, you be got to be against that group. Yeah. It's rare to find people who say, let's be for something. Right. You know, you got a lot of people who are, I'm against this, I'm against that. And this group of people we got running for president now, everybody's against something. Yeah. But nobody's for anything yeah. and I you know I say a while ago if I was going to vote it'd be and I, none of the above if I had a choice because from what I see well I ain't gonna get political I'm not <laughs> <laughs> well sure man I hear you loud and clear absolutely but 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 you know they'll tell us like you were touching on this you've got to march in lockstep you know mm -hmm. and and where's the freedom of thought in in that yeah uh I think i tell you a little bit about some of my civil rights past. Okay. Well, I did, didn't I? I? I'm not sure, but tell me. Well, you've heard of Jose Williams. Say again? I say you've heard of Jose Williams. Yes, yes. And you've heard of Martin Luther King. Yes. Okay, well, I've eaten lunch with Jose. There were seven of us. Two of the persons in this lunch... <laughs> One was president of the Weatherman's Underground. Mm. The other one was president of the Students for Democratic Society. Now, now, I was invited to this, and I've often wondered okay. if, if the one who was the president of the Weatherman's Underground might not be this guy that's getting all this attention now. All the songs that I am doing today I write myself, and I hope that it be a revival to your soul. Songs say, that'll be the day God rescued me. I remember the day when I was all alone. Didn't have no one, Lord, no one to call my own. God heard my cry and he pleaded my groan. 
It took the time to save a sinner like me. Came along, Lord, he gave me liberty. Oh, let it be today, God, he rescued me. Oh, God stepped down to save a soul. Gave me back my liberty. Amazing grace, sweetest sound. Once was lost, but now I'm found. Once was blind, but now I see. Lord, you done so much for me. That'll be the day God rescued me. Oh, we took the time, Lord, he saved a sinner like me, oh, let it be the day, God rescued me, pick me up, turn me round, place my feet on a solid ground, let it be the day, God rescued me. Oh, he took me and he gave me back my liberty. Lord, that I've been a day. Ooh, God rescued me. Lord, broken and shattered, I have been. God has been my closest friend. He took the time and he took me in. Now I'm flay, flay from my sin. That'll be the day God rescued me. Oh, took me in. He gave me back liberty. Mm, la, 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 la. Mm, thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. God rescued me, oh Lord, he took the time, he gave me back my liberty, mm -hmm. better be the day, mm -hmm. Lord, better be the day, God, he rescued me. Better be the day. God rescued me. I have decided to follow Jesus wherever I go. Doesn't matter what we go through, we have to let God know that he's worthy of all the praise and let him come into our lives. Some say, I have decided to follow Jesus.
Zion Memorial Funeral Home, located on 1881 Goodwater Highway in Sylacauga, Alabama, is one of the fastest growing funeral homes in the area. We offer a caring, complete, and dignified service. We offer our family as your family in your time of need. Allow our caring staff to join you in celebrating the life of your loved one. That's Zion Memorial Funeral Home, Brian Sims, owner and licensed mortician. Bandy's Barbershop, that's the corner barbershop, Camp Hill, is expanding to three new days. That's Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, 8 to 5. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 8 to 5. Come in, beat the rush, ask about special discounts. And don't forget, convenience store coming soon. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, corner barbershop, Camp Hill. Call for Jeff. Call for an appointment or just walk in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 8 to 5 p.m. MD Ross Construction, 115 North Tallahassee Street, Daveville. Experience you can trust for all your home improvement needs from ground up construction to roofing. Look no further, no job too big, no job too small. Bathroom renovations, kitchen renovations, basement renovations. MD Ross Construction can do it and do it well. Call us for your next renovation project. MD Ross Construction. Call the office number listed or call our cell 256 226 4132. What's America's best selling brand of trucks? You're in for a big surprise, pal. Actually, you're not. It's Ford F Series again, and it wasn't even close. Same trucks that have been leading the industry for 39 straight years. Why? Game-changing innovation, like F-150's high-strength military-grade aluminum alloy, which helps make it stronger, more capable, and more efficient than ever. Innovation. It's why Ford F-Series is making every other truck brand history. For over 60 years, people in East Central Alabama have relied on the team at Jackson Refrigeration for the highest standards in heating and air installation and service. Now they've expanded into A1 Four Seasons Heating and Air, a division of Jackson Refrigeration. And you can still count on their reputation to make your comfort their priority with quality Goodman products with the best warranty in the industry. Whether it's new construction or a complete unit change, Jackson Refrigeration and A1 Four Seasons Heating and Air, the go-to team for over 60 years, where your comfort is our priority. If you haven't been to Big B Barbecue in Alex City, then you're missing the best barbecue around. Big B has everything from the best pulled or chopped pork, chicken and beef, to cheeseburgers and grilled chicken salads. Bring your friends and family out for a great dinner and sit outside on our beautiful patio. Or sit inside and enjoy your meal by the fireplace. So come in and join us and enjoy the best barbecue in the area only at Big B Barbecue, located on Highway 22 West in Alex City. Now, we're here, we're here again with my guest, Charlie Thomas, and we're being, being competitive again. <laughs> now we compete about who can see better. We're going to put this, this <laughs> graphic up, and that goes way back. Ben Russell High School, class of 1971, the Uhuru Club. And once it, the club gra you know, uh, gravitated after we left, and they started calling it uh, something else. You who rule or something, mm, okay. and uh, they explained to me the name. I said, "You explaining me the name of the club <laughs> now?" You came on with it. <laughs> <laughs> so we gonna show all our viewers that Ahuru, which is Swahili for freedom, was founded by this group of people in 1971, and this is the club. Of course, I'm the guy with the books. I probably wouldn't read, but I was looking. You and, know. and the big bush. <laughs> yeah, with that weapon well, yeah. I had half. Well, look, can I mention that uh, that's Loretta Owens between yes. us mm -hmm. and uh, Edith Bell. And that's Edith Bell right below. And, you know, Edith passed away a few years ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, man, we were really good friends. Coach Dexter. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Snowden. Mr. Snowden. And, and let me just tell, just because, you know, I'm not sure that there may be some, you know, people that graduated from Benjamin Russell uh, in, you know, previous years and never really knew the story behind this club. But, uh, you know, we, you and me, mm -hmm. you know, we decided that, you know, we need uh, something for the black students in this right. school to be mm -hmm. a part of, because they had just came over. That was the first year yep. of full integration, full, full man. Integration, and when you just walk in a building, you know, a, a school is a is a society in itself. Right. You know, it has a culture, 
And if you don't know anybody and you're not familiar with what's going on in, in the school, it's hard to become involved. Exactly. And stuff. Now, you know, we have football and, you know, you can obviously walk onto a sports team, but if you're not an athlete, what you going to do? You, you kind of blend. You just exactly. blend into the, exactly. the, the, the uh -huh. background. So we decided, hey, we need a club, mm -hmm. you know, something for the black kids to get involved in. And so we got Mr. Spears, the principal, mm -hmm. to, you know, allow us to do this. And you and me sat down, and, and we came up with some guidelines and, you know, a charter and all that right. stuff, and we presented it to the administration, and they said, okay, you can have your club. And we were the, the first officers of the club. That's us, mm -hmm. you know, Edith, Loretta, me, and you. And we had almost 100% participation. Oh. Almost everybody in the school joined that club. <laughs> <You know? laughs> it was all the black kids, man. <laughs> so it was, a, it was a lot more successful than I thought it was going to be. And we had actually a... Uh, a girl, she was white, Martha Ray, she was my secretary. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. We did. But we man, did. That, 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 that goes way, way, way back, man. I mean, those were great, great days. Yeah. Uh, I was, I think there was some sort of reunion or something. And uh, you were in town. Mm -hmm. And I was like a block away. And they said, did you see Charlie? I said, see Charlie? He said, he was in town. I said, where? He said, the wreck. Said, I said, oh, man, I live mm -hmm. literally one block from the wreck. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, how in the world? And then when Kenny, Kenny Dean, obviously, mm -hmm. posted that you were going to be in town, I said, yeah. wait, hold on. I started calling uh, my producer, because he produces Kenny's show, too. Mm -hmm. And I said, who's the guest this week? And he said, I'm sorry, but I said, wait. I said, who's the guest? Then I came back, who's the guest this week? He said, I don't know. He's gotten educated from Maryland. I said, Charles, <laughs> I said, yeah. I said, okay, let me know. And then I had a friend, uh, Eddie Leonard, who had death in his family. Mm -hmm. And I had to, well, I didn't have to. I wanted to go and be with his family. But I did get a chance to come in. We had time to, you know, spend some time together. That, that meant a whole lot, man, because I can see our parents right now. And Willie Goggins' parents. And we were like, at that time, we had free reign. Of, you know, we, we didn't go no further than C, I, and O. Mm -hmm. you know, we, we might end up on Laurel. Yeah. But, we, you know, we, if that was just one, that was the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And back then, kids could be in the neighborhood, yeah. and there was no thought of. Oh, yeah, if you're in the neighborhood, you're protected. Yeah, you but know. no thought, none of this right. crazy stuff was happening now. Mm -hmm. And back, back then, if you thought about messing with a kid, you had terrible repercussions. Yeah, yeah it, it, you know, I can't remember it, it ever happening. Yeah. You know, I, I felt totally safe in the neighborhood. Yes, yeah, because everybody all the way down that street. Yeah, and you know, that was one, I think, one of the uh, the big hurdles we had to get over when we, you know, all went to Benjamin Russell was that we were no longer in the neighborhood. Right. You know, so uh, that was something we had to get past. Yeah, I was, I was a tough little kid. <laughs> 133 yeah. whole pounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, okay. After a day, what you got planned? Uh you know, it's kind of up in the air. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I, uh, my daughter lives in Atlanta, okay. so uh, I know that when I do leave um, this area, I'm going to go back to Atlanta and, and spend some time with her and. And then I have another good friend in uh, North Carolina. Okay. So I'm going to head what up. Park? To, uh, Pikeville is where he lives, which is just outside of Goldsboro. Okay. So I'm going to go up there and play some golf because I'm telling you, man, I have not seen any sunshine since I left home. <laughs> I got my golf clubs, but I can't get on the golf course because it's raining cats and dogs everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you were telling me about the, all, all the rain you're in town now. Yeah. Yeah, it's terrible. I mean, you, 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 you got rain in the desert, you were saying. Oh, yeah. I mean, we've had a terrible winter in Maryland. Okay. I mean, it's just been awful. Cold and snow, and it's just been a mess. <laughs> and, you know, when you love to play golf the way I do, mm -hmm. I mean, you get stir crazy when you can't get out there and play. Right. So I, I couldn't stand it. I said, okay, I'm leaving. I'm going to California. I'm going to get on a plane, and I'm going to go to the desert because I know in the desert there will be some sun. <laughs> Man, I got to the desert, it was raining. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I can't get, I, I, I don't know what's going on. Well, really what's don't. your handicap? Well, it's, um, actually, I, I, it's about 12. Okay. Uh, but usually, you know, if, if you don't get to play much, 
it can deteriorate, right. you know, because golf is very difficult. You have to practice. Yeah. And uh, so generally, if I play really, really well, you know, I'm going, my score will be around 82. Okay. And if I'm playing really, really bad, my score will be around 92. So my handicap can be 10 on a good day and 20 on a bad right. day. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it did not rain. I got a, a friend, uh, Ryan Segrist, mm -hmm. and he was on the junior college national Oh, really? Championship team. Yeah, okay. he, he works out at uh, the golf course. Oh, man, I forget the name of the golf course here, the, the city-owned golf course. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's really good golf. You probably have some fun playing with him. Yeah. Uh, man, uh, I, I, I left out the fact now, I'm a orange and blue, you know, through and through. Mm -hmm. But I've got four Alabama graduates. <laughs> so... I say roll tie a little bit now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get those words to come out of my mouth, man. Well, you know, when you see those, those sheepskins there, you, yeah. you're like, thank you, whoever gave these up. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I can relate, you know, because my brother went to Alabama. And, uh, you know, I, I, I <laughs> it was really funny, but I, I'm sure that you remember the, the last uh, game that Cam Newton played in Tuscaloosa. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Auburn won the game. And I happened, my brother happened to be there with me. Mm -hmm. He came down for Thanksgiving, and my brother was there and his son. And, you know, he's taught his son how to, you know, say road tie, just like I taught my daughter how to say war eagle. <laughs> and uh, we were all sitting there watching the game together, you know. And obviously Auburn won. And <laughs> my nephew, man, I feel so sorry for him. <laughs> he actually curled up on the couch you know, in a little fetal position yeah. and, and started to cry. And man, I felt sorry <laughs> for him. I mean, it, it I felt so sorry for him. I, I, you know, I didn't even, I didn't even, I didn't, you know how you had that needle and you want to stick yeah, it, you know, and you I couldn't it. do it. I right. couldn't do it. I just felt sorry for him, man. Now, so. Time is going to make me end this segment, but I got to yeah. tell this story before we go. My son, uh, one of my son, but my son, Jamal, it, Jamal Oliver is pastor at White Street Baptist Church in Auburn. Mm -hmm. He's a through and through Alabama man, graduated from Alabama. Uh, my granddaughter, Kyla, was a liver transplant recipient. She, like, she was very young, about eight months, and she got a liver. You know, she was, no, she was more than eight months. She was, uh, she was talking, but she had a follow-up procedure, and uh, she's, you know, this Alabama household. His wife is Alabama graduate, so. I always kid them about Auburn mm -hmm. and uh, buy them stuff, orange and blue, stuff like that. They, they won't let them play with it. <laughs> <laughs> but Kyla was coming out. She was, coming, she was in recovery. She was coming off the meds. I said, hey, baby. She said, hey, granddaddy. I said, how you feel? She said, okay. I said, war eagle. She said, no, granddaddy, <laughs> road <time." laughs> so I got to thank you for coming on, man. Hey, man, I, I, hey, I appreciate man. it. It's been so much fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We've been in this segment with my good friend, Charlie Thomas. We'll be back after these messages. Heavy equipment's moving in at Sarah Nissan of Siliconga, and that means construction sales savings. If you want a great price, it has to be Sarah. Drive new Centrus, just $15,995. New Ultimas, $17,995. Or new Rogues, $18,995. All backed by our lifetime warranty. Don't mind the falling prices. Sarah Nissan of Silicaga is still open. Man, that's a good-looking truck. It's Ram Truck Month at Vice Motors in Alex City. Save over $10,000 on a new 2016 Ram 1500 Bighorn Diesel 4x4 Crew Cab. It's Truck Month. Save over $8,500 on a new 2016 Ram 2500 4x4 Crew Cab. That's what I call wheel. Guaranteed lowest price. I will pay the difference in price twice. I've been trying to tell you. ViceChryslerDodge.com. City Pond, 148 Calhoun Street, downtown Alexander City. New owner, Andy Tucker, says, come on in. We buy gold and silver. We are coin dealers. See us for title loans and title pawns and guns and ammo. That's City Pond across from Piggly Wiggly, downtown Alexander City. 
give us a call at 256-329-8780 or just come on in to City Pond. Bandy's Barbershop, that's the corner barbershop, Camp Hill, is expanding to three new days. That's Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, 8 to 5. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 8 to 5. Come in, beat the rush, ask about special discounts. And don't forget, convenience store coming soon. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, corner barbershop, Camp Hill. Call for Jeff. Call for an appointment or just walk in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 8 to 5 p.m. I'm attorney Dane Sharp. If you've been injured in an auto accident, don't choose an attorney simply because they have flashy television commercials and tons of billboards. Call a local attorney who can give your case the personal attention it needs and deserves. For over 20 years, I've handled hundreds of auto accidents, and I take pride in the personal service we provide and the results we obtain for our clients. So if you've been injured, give me a call today and put our team to work for you. Lake Martin Truck and Auto, the walking man's friend, buy here, pay here, no credit checks. Call Lori down at Lake Martin Truck and Auto for great price on all vehicles, like this great 2000 Toyota Camry. Cold air, great gas mileage, beautiful looking car, interior is, ooh, it's a beautiful car. You should check them out at Lake Martin Truck and Auto and Truck Center, the walking man's friend. You buy here, pay here. Nobody walks away. 256-212-1300. Lake Martin Truck and Auto, Alexander City. Hope you enjoyed the best of It's All Good with Iceberg Slam 2. We're going to see you next time. Remember, only one thing counts, and that is, it's all good.